good. It's good. It's Very fun. good, yeah. Excellent pose. Yeah, thank you. Not sure what's going on there. Oh. Well, good morning from Lusaka, Zambia. It's about noon here on Thursday and I'm just getting ready to head outside of my hotel in the next few minutes and go check out downtown Lusaka. This is my second trip here. The first was back in 2009 when I was catching my return flight back to Canada, though I didn't get to sightsee that much on that trip. If we take a look outside my seventh floor window here at the hotel, uh, you'll see a view of downtown Lusaka. Some of its major high rises there in the distance. I did uh, talk to my taxi driver yesterday who mentioned that the city government is actually looking to build a new downtown core modeled on, you know, American cities and so forth uh, to give the city a more cosmopolitan flair and also reduce traffic and congestion coming into the downtown core. If you look over here, this is Cairo Road. That's the city's major thoroughfare. Quite quiet today by the looks of it. Uh, this is where most of the city's shops and businesses, offices and services are located, including my hotel. Further afield in the distance here, I don't think you can see it in view at all, but the Mandahill Shopping Centre is out there somewhere, which is the city's largest. It's quite safe during the daytime. I'm, I'll be able to take my camera gear down with me. Though the market is supposed to be quite dicey, which is somewhere around here. I'm not sure exactly which building it is, but I'll need to be extra careful when I head there this morning. I do have a few things to get done. I'm going to try to get down to the train station to see if I can get a ticket out to Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Uh, the train leaves tomorrow at 2 o'clock from a town called New Kapiri Poshi, which is about three hours to five hours north of here. The train is allegedly a 48 to 50 hour ride. Some travelers have reported it taking as long as 72 to 96 hours, so I'm not necessarily sold on the idea of taking this to Zara Railway, in which case I'll have to opt to take uh, local transport and buses to get to the border and then onward, uh, which is fine with me because that's the way I've traveled around Africa for the most part for the past 10 years. So without further ado, let's go check it out. With 1.7 million inhabitants, Lusaka is the largest city in Zambia. Well, welcome to downtown Lusaka, Zambia. Though it lacks any major tourist attractions, the city is the commercial and governmental heart of the country. This is one of the most uh, popular fast food restaurants in Southern Africa. So just hanging out here in downtown Lusaka, Zambia. Uh, it's just slightly dicey, not too bad. So the railway ticket office is just across the railway tracks, which are just behind these buildings right over here. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a clear walk path, so I'm gonna have to figure that out here. But uh, yeah, slightly dicey. Uh, some shady characters look, looking around the corners here. But uh, generally, probably on their best behavior, just given the hour of the day uh, here at noon. It's a bit of a jog to find out where this uh, train booking office is. Definitely in a shady area right now, though. A lot of curious looks around at this point. And with a little bit of difficulty, it looks like we located the office. So without too much complication, I was able to get a booking for tomorrow's train to Dar es Salaam. So it's going to cost me, by the looks of it, about 30 US dollars for an 1800 kilometer trip. So that is a bargain anywhere in the world. After purchasing my train ticket, I began a two kilometer walk eastward through the city from the downtown core to the Intercontinental Hotel. This walk took me down Independence Avenue, home to many of the city's major monuments. It looks like that's the city mosque right there. I'm not sure what the Muslim population in Zambia might be. Definitely getting a lot of looks with the camera though, so I do feel generally safe. I don't think anybody's out to get me. I should be coming out to the Freedom Monument here pretty quickly. So this is the Freedom Statue here in front of the National Museum in Lusaka. Uh, it's dedicated to the independence of Zambia that occurred in the 1960s. 
pretty impressive. I'm getting a little backlighting though, so the footage is not going to be as great as it otherwise could be. So my battery pack ran out, uh, unfortunately, and I forgot to bring my spare, so we are switching over to the iPhone. Uh, this is the Freedom Statue, uh, dedicated to Zambia's independence. It sits in front of the National Museum here in Lusaka. Fairly impressive statue. It's decked out with the colors of Zambia. Little flags all around. Some panhandlers around. Uh, walking through the park now, you can see there's a lot of people resting and relaxing here. Um, I think, by the looks of what I just encountered there, likely drunk out of their mind. So I'm going to get out of here. Unfortunately, uh, the Independence Monument is a bit soured, uh, given that it's in such a shady area. Admittedly, there wasn't a lot to do in Lusaka, though I did enjoy my time here, meandering my way along the city's many boulevards and enjoying the creature comforts that come with modern-day shopping centers. So I've walked about, oh, probably a kilometer and a half so far, maybe two kilometers uh, from downtown and reached this uh, major junction on Independence Avenue. Just about a block and a half away is the Intercontinental Hotel where I left off um, on my last trip. And uh, I'll be popping in there just to get a sense of, if I even remember it, this is pretty funny. Decent advertisement for a roofing company. So one of the largest, uh, most famous monuments in Lusaka is right here. And there is some sort of crowd that's gathered for something. So likely a political demonstration of some sort. Uh, which I'll avoid for safety reasons and continue my merry way here. Um, again, the hotel's pretty close to here, but I'm not sure how to get through with whatever demonstration happening right now. So almost at the Intercontinental now, I just noticed this sign. Uh, if this is true, this would make this one of the cheapest bottles of Pepsi in the world. 2.5 Quacha, which would work out to roughly 10 to 20 cents US. Pretty crazy. Beautiful trees also around here, lots of flowers. I'm just walking next to the Supreme Court right now, so I gotta watch where I point my camera. So really cool to be back here to the exact point that I was the night before I flew back to Canada back in 2009. Beautiful property. I remember nothing but good things about it. Well, this is certainly one of the nicest properties here in uh, Lusaka. Um, I intended to stay here last night, but the price tag was $2.50 a night, which is more than when I checked a few days ago. Uh, so I decided to stay at the Marriott, which is only uh, $70, $67 actually, US, which is not bad at all. So this is the East Park Shopping Center. So as you can see, I wasn't kidding about the level of economic development that's uh, all the rage in Zambia right now. So you can see many very familiar brands like Toys R Us, Debonair's, it's a South African pizza brand, Hungry Lion, another South African, I believe. It's a hut, a keg by the looks of it. So many Western food outlets and so forth are making their way down to Zambia. Lots of economic development in this area. Uh, definitely a thriving boom town. Uh, still developing, of course, but it has come a long way since last time I was here and continues to be a quite a growing economy. There are Chinese businesses, shops and signs all around town, just showing the level of Chinese investment in the city. I believe they have an exclusive visa program here too to actually relocate and reside. So things are kind of strange in that regard. So it may not seem like much. Um, I mean, by mall standards, this could be any suburban mall in the United States, but malls such as these are kind of the sign of uh, positive economic growth in a country. Heading into Pick and Pay to get a snack here. Great South African supermarket chain. So the supermarket is huge and pretty much has anything that you'd ever want to buy. Again, another great sign. I mean, there's no tourists here whatsoever. So this is all locals being able to afford all of this around me. So and the prices are not necessarily that cheap either. Uh, pretty much on par with uh, most places in the US. Maybe a slightly cheaper, but not nothing to get excited over. One of the best things about being back in Africa is the weird variety of chocolate bars they have here. So as you can see, tons of new developments cropping up here. Largely fueled by the Chinese from what I've seen in terms of signage and everything else. Pretty vibrant city. Uh, lots going on it seems. Uh, generally safe and secure. I haven't felt too out of sorts here. Why? I want to 
Definitely some uh, hilarious characters down here practicing their English, so it's been all good humor. None of them really understand what I'm talking about when I ask to go to a specific place. Good, how are you? Sorry? Don't take photos, there's a port office somewhere. Oh, okay, I can Taking a port of order is It's against it's, the law. Yes. Oh, okay, I'll turn it oh, off. Be careful, be careful. Very careful, okay, yeah. thank you. So, back downtown in Lusaka now, just heading back to my hotel. It's about to get dark, so it's probably best to get off the roads at this point. Communication's been a slight challenge here. The locals know a bit of English, though, depending on their level of education, I would say uh, the communication barrier can be a bit severe. So, I have had a few pr uh, problems just finding my way back to the hotel uh, because a few people haven't really understood uh, where I wanted to go. So I'm staying at the Protea Hotel, which is one of the Marriott brands uh, during my time here in Lusaka. You can see this beautiful mosaic mural that they have out front. It's pretty old 1960s architecture again. Um, the architecture in Lusaka definitely leaves a lot to be desired, but the interior is quite modern and comfortable. Uh, looking down here, this is the rest of Cairo Road, so the Hilton Garden Inn is there on the left. Uh, I was going to stay there, but it actually worked out to really two nights for the price of one for the Aprotia, which is a comparable property amenities-wise. And looking down the other side of Cairo Road, the traffic is beginning to pick up here during rush hour. It's about 4.30 p.m. and everybody's heading off of work and heading back home. That pretty much sums up my brief jaunt around the city. Oh, that's, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. Thank you, though.